everybody, it's Mark from the Comics, and I'm back. Today I'm going to do some uh, comic book hunting. i going to go to two shops. Uh, one shop that I've never been to, and then the other one that hasn't been up to in a very long time since I've, I've been there. But uh, if you want to see what I get, stick around. Alright, so if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, I reached out to one of the local uh, community members in the area, Hero and the Kid, to see if he wanted to uh, do some hunting today since I was in his neck of the woods. Uh, but he was a little busy today. Maybe he said he had something going on with birthday uh, arrangements or whatnot. So we'll have to catch it you know, together real soon. But. Um, like I said, the first two shops I'm going to is uh, Jeremiah's Antique Shops. I was told that this place has tons of comics inside, so let's uh, go check it out. So we're heading over to the second shop right now. It's called Wonderland Comics. Let's go in there and see what we can find. All right, so I'm back. Um, so I didn't get any footage of Wonderland Comics inside. When I walked in there, there was it was a few people in the shop. It was pretty quiet. So I kind of felt a little awkward in recording as opposed to the other shop where there was some music and ambiance and whatever. Just wasn't feeling it there, but um, a little bit about that shop. There's tons of books there. They have um, a lot of like statues, um, magic, the you know the Gathering cards and new comic books, back issue bins, some slabs on their wall. And um, when I was looking at some of their prices, I was I was like, wow, this is way too overpriced. And um, and in the back, with the back issue bins, they had they must have had like, I don't know, twenty to forty thousand books in the back issue bins, but their prices weren't that great. I was kind of hoping for a little bit of a deal, maybe like fifty percent off, or you know, buy a few books and get some discounts, whatever, you know, like I usually get from going to other shops, but that wasn't the case. And um, you know, I spent a little bit of time there, I spent about twenty, thirty minutes and didn't really find anything that I was looking for. Didn't have any cell phone reception in there, of course, so I couldn't like pull out my uh, my app to see what books I was needing. So yeah, it was a little frustrating. And then they did have a Thor 165 there on the shelf, on the wall. I was at 5.0, I believe it was, and they were asking like 350 for it. And you know, FMB is not even like 250 on that book. So I was like, whatever. Uh, so I didn't end up, uh, getting any books there. So that's, that's all right. You know, the majority of my books and, you know, the fun time I had picking was at, uh, Jeremiah's antique shop and they had quite a bit of variety there from you saw in the, uh, in the video. So, um, I spent 23 bucks there and that's including, you know, taxes and whatnot. And, um, I got about like, what, how many books? five books so not too bad so um they did have some dollar bins some two dollar bins three dollar bins five and below and then some more expensive books so they had a little bit for everyone there which is pretty nice so i'll start with my first book this was in the uh i think this was it under under five dollar bin this was midnight suns night stalkers number one I keep on picking these books. I keep on finding these books in the wild. 
And um, this is part five of six of the uh, Midnight Sun storyline. And this is Polybag. I always pick these up when I see them. This was two dollars, so it was a good deal. I always say any of these um, poly bags under five bucks, with the exception of the, um, I think it's Ghost Rider 28, which is the first low. If you pay a little bit more for that, five bucks or less, it's a good deal. I wouldn't pay more than that for these books. Um, next book, finally found one of these in the newsstand. This is Spirits of Vengeance, number one. This is part two of six of the uh, Rise of the Midnight Suns. See, poly bagged, and this was five bucks. I didn't mind spending five bucks because it is newsstand. These are super hard to find newsstands in the poly bags. It's the first one I've ever seen in the wild. So they had, I think they had a, three copies of these. The other two were uh, the direct, but so this one was the uh, newsstand. So this one was pretty good. Um, next one. This is a bit of a spec book. This is from the, uh, the TVA, the Time Variance Authority. And um, this is Fantastic Four issue number 352. So I forget which one this is. I know there's something key about this. It has to do with the Time Variance Authority. But um, for a dollar, I'll pick these up all day. Um, I had to go digging in the Moon Knight bins. So um, this is one of the uh, later issues of the Moon Knight run, the first volume. And you know with these white covers, they're hard to get into pretty good condition. Um, first time I've seen this one in the wild as well. You know, the second to last issue is Moon Knight issue number 36. As uh, featuring Doctor Strange there as well. It's a pretty nice cover. Um, but for two bucks, you know, nice little 75 center. No, it's not near mint. It has a few ticks there on the side. You can see there. But um, for a book that, you know, I've been trying to complete this Moon Knight run. Uh, always looking out for some of these uh, harder to find issues. And then the last book, this was the most expensive book I bought there. And what I mean most expensive, not that expensive because I said I still only spent $23 total. But uh, this pretty much accounted for half of the uh, budget. This is the... Spider-Man number one, the Todd McFarlane series. Um, this is the, let's see, the newsstand copy. And it's not, not polybag. They do come polybag as well. But this is, let me see, Spider-Man issue number one. The Torment series, part 105. And you can see it's newsstand. Um... So I paid 12 bucks for it, which is not bad at all. I have another copy as well. That's also a new stand, and that's polybag. But I think this is the better copy. So I was pretty happy to get this issue. They had a few other Spider-Mans uh, there as well, but they were a little bit more overpriced. Um, so I didn't mind paying 12 bucks for this. It was a pretty good deal. But uh, that's it. That's the haul. Um, hope you guys liked it. I got a few more things coming up down, down the stream um, coming up this week. I was able to pick up another one of my um, personal grail books. I'll actually, I'll have to unbox it soon. See, it's already here. So uh, look out for that. Uh, just got to find the time this upcoming week to do it. Really excited to show you guys the um, this book. But uh, that's it for now. Until next time, this is Mark's Book of Comics. Out.